the Big Apple New York. Here we come. How's it going, boys? We're nearly there. Right now, we're passing a tiny little island near Bermuda. Huh? The Bermuda Triangle? Hope we don't disappear. Ah! Oh, what was that? Just a thunderstorm. But I better get back to the controls. Buckle up, boys, all right? Look at the lightning! It's pink! It's the Bermuda Triangle. It has to be. <laughs> you watch too many movies, Obaid. It was only a storm. But, Dad, I can't get any service on my phone at all. Why don't you boys try up there? There may be a signal. Try that, and I'll look at the engine. But listen, don't go too far. OK, Dad. See you later. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. let's. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Guys, guys! Huh? Over here! Look huh? there! They look like pirates! <laughs> no way! You guys, don't be silly! It's a movie shoot! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our quest is almost at an end, my friend. <laughs> and cut! Huh? 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 Hold huh? on. They're only boys. Who are you? Um, I'm Mansoor. And these are my friends, Obaid and Salem. Are you shooting a movie? Movie? What is this movie? You know, a movie. Like this. Mm hmm? Look there. I'm making some acting. Oh. Huh. What is this? You're the right. boy has trapped Man, little people inside of this little box thingy. What's with these guys? Hey, Jabal, secure the boat. My name is Sinbad. Sinbad? You mean just like Sinbad the sailor? Sailor, adventurer, hero at your service. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I'm so confused right now. That guy's crazy. Maybe not. Think about it. The storm, my phone acting all weird and stuff, and these guys over here don't even know what a movie is. You mean the Bermuda Triangle? I think you were actually right about everything, Obaid. That storm was a time portal. <clears throat> Forgive me, but time is not my friend. You see, we have sailed the seven seas far and wide to reach this far off place. My princess fails even as we speak. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia of Baghdad. She has been poisoned by the evil Sultan Kader. And Kader wishes to claim her throne, and I must save her now. The only thing that can save the princess from her fate is the Star of Nashira, a tiny flower that grows only here on this island. A flower? That sounds easy enough. I wish that were true, my young fellow. But the flower grows at the top of a giant tree in the Valley of Scorpions. Scorpions? Well, at least it isn't snakes. Snakes, too. Many snakes to be, in fact. But now we must go. Ready, Jabal? Wait up, Sinbad. Maybe we can help. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I believe these tunnels right here will lead us to the giant tree. Uh, I don't really like this. It looks dangerous. Oh, it is. So touch nothing. 
The men who built this place filled it with many traps to prevent anyone from entering. <laughs> Follow me, let's go, let's go! Stop! Is something wrong? Yes, I think I see something. Hmm. <laughs> I knew it, just as I thought. The traps that were put in place are still working. What do we do now? We make shield. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Salem, you look like a real warrior with that shield you made. Jabal, go and make some more for the rest of us. Solem, look, it's working. Hmm, a piece of cake. Is that the best they can do? Wait up! <laughs> Help me! Help me! Obey! Whatever you do, do not look <sighs> down. Huh? Snakes! Oh, man! I hate snakes! <laughs> 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 Obeid! Let go of your granola bar! Never! Obeid! The snakes! To have you back, Obaid. We're here. Behold, the Star of Nashira. Oh. Hold on. Do you really think this will hold no, us? No, don't. Oh. 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 All is lost. Oh, to have come so far and to then fail. The fate of my princess is sealed now. Hmm. Not so fast. I've got an idea. Huh? What is that thing? Meet my friend Nano. He's going to save the princess. Oh, wow. Oh. Greetings there, Mentor. Hey, Nano. Got a little job for you. That is absolutely incredible! That's Nano! I owe you a great debt, Mansoor. And all of you, you will be heroes. And many stories will be told of you, I promise. Mansoor, look! The huh? storm! Oh. oh! The time portal! We have to leave now! Take this as a token of gratitude. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> Master! Huh? Uh -huh. Dad! <laughs> Good luck, Sinbad. We're about 20 minutes away from New York. Funny thing is, we're somehow eight hours behind schedule now. It's probably something about the Bermuda Triangle. 
I think you're right, Obaid. I think you're right. Your homework for today is to film and report on interesting local events for the class vlog. And with that, you had better get to work. Okay, kids, see you tomorrow. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> we could do our report on Obeyed, <laughs> the most clumsiest boy in all of the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Huh? <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go and find an interesting story. Okay, so we need to find some exciting things to report on. Oh, oh! I found a story! This looks like an ordinary street, but a terrible event is happening. A cat has gotten stuck up a tree. How will this cat get down? Who will rescue it? And how long will the poor critter be there? Will the authorities come and help the cat and return it to... Obeyed? The cat's gone. What? Aw, I thought it was stuck. Even if it was stuck, it wasn't very exciting. Don't worry. We'll find another one. We just need to keep looking. Guys, get ready. I found our story. Ready! This car has broken down. Let's find what the problem is. Excuse me, sir, but what's wrong with your car? Huh? Nothing's wrong. I was just checking the oil. Cut. Ugh. Ugh, yet another failure. Sheesh, who would have thought that finding an interesting story to report would be so difficult to do? We've got to keep looking. <gasps> huh? I think I found our story. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I am reporting to you from the park where a very rare bird has just been seen. I'm not sure exactly what kind of bird of prey it is. It looks like an eagle, but I've never seen one that big. This is amazing! This eagle is getting lower. It must be hunting its prey. <sighs> Obeyed, why aren't you filming? Look. Huh? <laughs> your big bird of prey was just your little sister's kite. I never thought finding a story would be so hard. We gotta think of something. Hmm. We could fake a bit of news. What do you mean? I mean... We could make up a story and pretend that it really happened. Like what? Um, we could report that there's a herd of giant dinosaurs wildly rampaging all throughout the park. How will we do that? Mm, We're uh, not gonna fake uh, any news. We just gotta find a really, really good story. Sure, but where will we find one? I don't know. I mean, it's not as if it's just going to fall out of the sky or anything, huh? Ah! 
I guess great stories do just fall out of the sky. Come on, let's follow it. This is cool. We're going to have the best footage of the class. <laughs> Have you come for a ride? Yes. We want to film the plane from a completely new angle. Well, you've come to the right place. Jump in. <laughs> We're in a helicopter! Yes, of course. That one ignites the boosters. That one starts the auto landing feature. And this one makes the helicopter invisible on the radar. What does that big red one do? Well, that's the ejector seat. So whatever you do, do not press it. So cool! An ejector seat! <laughs> Uh-oh! Uh -oh. uh... Obeyed! Seriously? I think you'll agree that Mansoor, Salem, and Obeyed made a very exciting report for their assignment. 
And so, they all get an A+. Plus. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but please, boys, don't do anything so risky and dangerous again. <laughs> but let's watch it one more time, children. This week's experiment is all about energy efficiency. Your task is to suspend a member of your team in midair. That's easy. But without using an engine or a motor. Hmm, not so easy. Get into teams, and then you can start your experiments outside. Please help yourselves to anything that you think may help you obtain your scientific goal. We could take the string and wrap it around two chairs. And then maybe have two of us sit on the chairs and one of us lies on the string. I think that might work out, you guys. Ha! <laughs> well, that's huh? a good idea. Thanks for that. <laughs> hmm. Huh? That's not fair. Don't worry, Obeyed. None of this stuff is very useful. I've got some better things at home. What about these? Huh? Hmm. 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 Yeah, they could support someone, I suppose. We might as well try. Okay, Obeyed, get on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 You're supposed to be suspending him, not sinking him. Help uh. me! I can't get up! <laughs> 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 you may continue working on it at home, but you must show your findings to the class tomorrow. Come on, let's go back to my house. I've got my tools there, and we can get this work done properly. I'm sure of it. Mom, mom. I'm going to pick Sarah up from a party. See you boys later. So how are we going to solve this science experiment thing? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Water! No thanks, I've got some juice. No, we could use water pressure to suspend you. How's that gonna support him? I've got a plan. Okay, this highly pressurized water squirter should do the trick. It's full of water and ready to go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It needs more pressure. Uh -huh. Hold on, Obey. Uh -huh. Oh, it's working. Okay, Obeyed, we'll think of something. <gasps> We're hey back. There. Hmm. That's it! Whoa! Uh, hmm. I don't really think one balloon is going to hold me up. You're right. One won't do it, but lots of them will definitely do the job. <laughs> don't worry, Obeyed. What could possibly go wrong? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 
After calculating all the data, we know we need exactly 48 balloons to suspend Obeyed in midair. Hmm. How many balloons have you blown up, Obeyed? Nearly 200. What? Uh. Wait up! We only need 48 of them! Stay in the garage! What? What are we gonna do? We need to burst three quarters of those balloons. But how? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. <gasps> Nano can fly up and burst them. Nano? But how? There's nothing sharp on him. Quickly, find something sharp. Ow. Oh! I think that'll do it. if any of you have solved this scientific riddle. We'll start with T-Rex team. Lo and behold, watch the string support my weight. <laughs> 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 
Nice try, Tarek. Mansoor, has your team been successful? Ha! <laughs> This'll never work. What a joke. Through careful scientific research, we calculated exactly how many balloons were needed to suspend obeyed. Oh. And we also discovered that if you quadruple the number of balloons attached, it's possible to float really high, even higher than planes. <laughs> A funny joke, Obeyed. No, I'm not joking, sir. Huh? He's joking, right? No, he's not. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations to Mansour's team for successfully solving the challenge. Don't worry, I'm using my new sat-nav. Mansoor, there's a new reptile exhibition at the zoo, and they have an anaconda that's 20 feet long. I know, and I can't wait to see it. In 50 meters, turn right. Hmm, this doesn't feel right. Mansoor, huh? look at the sky. Huh? What's that? Huh? Whoa. What's this? Where are we? Where's the city? Mm. What does this mean? It means uh. I need a new sat-nav. <laughs> the windshield needs a little cleaning. That's a good idea, Mansoor. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like the snake's not giving up and it's gaining on us. Faster, Grandpa! Hold on, boys. This is going to get bumpy. <laughs> Obey, make sure to keep your seatbelt fastened. What's going on? What? We're flying? You're never going to believe this. Look there. I'm not really enjoying this new zoo experience. It's way too interactive. You know, I don't think this is the zoo. Salem, look. Oh, no! I'm not sure I want to find out what the main course is. You think it's a snake or us? I'll hit the horn. No, wait. What if he drops us? Oh, right. Ah! 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 Looks like we're safe now. I don't like this. That egg over there is moving. There's something in there. <laughs> Just a wild guess here, Obeyed. But it's probably a bird. Baby birds are hungry when they first hatch, aren't they? We have to get out of this nest! It's too heavy. We're falling. Hold on to something, boys! <laughs> what now? Huh, Grandpa? We have to put some distance between us and that giant bird. He might come back here. This place looks old. This place looks really old. Mansoor, what kind of place is this? I think the question we should be asking is, when exactly are we? Wait, what do you mean? Well, I think we just came through a time portal. We're out of gas. Maybe they have some. Hmm, let's hope the people are friendlier than the animals around here. What is that? Is that a steel chariot with no horses? Amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
but we're a little lost. We were looking for the zoo when we... when we... You're looking for the zoo? I've never heard of a zoo before. Grandpa, uh, I really don't think zoos have been invented in this period. Where are you from? Well, it's a very long story, but we could really use your help. Sure. Nazar al Tuzi will know what to do. That's right, that's right. He's the cleverest man in all of Arabia. And chief scientist to the Sultan himself. Follow me. Hmm, I can't think of a better idea. All right. Lead the way, please. Oh, hello, Abdul. How may I be of service? These strangers arrived a short while ago and need help. I'm in the middle of a rather delicate experiment right now. The inn can host them. Plenty of food and lodgings. If you'll excuse me. Please wait! <laughs> What? I don't understand. Who are you? I am Mansoor, and we have come from the future. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Please, make yourselves at home. Well, I suppose I should have realized this might happen someday, but I guess I never expected it to actually work. What do you mean? This. It's taken me almost ten years to construct it. It's time. We can measure it, however, we cannot ever change it. Time flows into the future, just as a river flows to the sea. Yet we can divert water, we can change its course, even pump it back uphill. I have been working on a special project. I have invented a way to manipulate time with the device you see here. Is that a time pump? That's right! This machine functions by pulling the future toward the present until they meet up. And you were working on the machine today, correct? That's right. And I fear I may have brought you here. I aimed my machine out there, out to the empty desert, trying to avoid such a thing. But in the future, the town is much bigger. It's a city, a very large city. Ah, of course. Yes, I didn't consider town expansion. Okay, so then can you just zap us back to the future? Sorry, I'm afraid not. <laughs> the machine stopped working in the middle of my experiment. I have been unable to fix it. Does that mean we're trapped here? It's the vortex! It's still in the sky! Do you have a spyglass? It's our city! I can see it! Huh? Mm. Huh? Uh. Your machine created this vortex in the sky, an opening into the future. Looks like we'll have to go back through it. Mansoor! Look, it's shrinking! There's not a second to lose. If we don't go back to the Vortex now, we might be trapped here forever. The future must be an incredible place. You move around without horses, you say? That's right, but it does need fuel to function. And that won't be invented for another 300 years, more or less. Fuel? But we have lots of fuel for you. Thank you so much, but we actually require a very different kind of fuel to drive. And sore. Maybe we can walk back through. What do you think? No, I don't think there's enough time. We need something faster. <gasps> it's the rock. Run for your lives. What do we do now? Remember, the rock brought us here. Maybe it could take us back. I think it's worth a try. Hmm, I think I have an idea. <laughs> Ready? Ready! It's coming back! Here it comes! I wish you good luck, my little friend. Thank you! I wish we had more time to get to share ideas, Nasser. We must be satisfied with the little time we got, Mansoor. <laughs> I sure learned my lesson, didn't I? I got him! Here we go! And now, we just have to lead the rock directly to the vortex. Nano, it's up to you! Get us home! Yes, we'll do, Mazzo! Are you ready? Uh, yeah. 
On my mark, now! <laughs> 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 I'm going to get some fuel. Just wait here by the car. Sure thing, Grandpa. It's still only 11 o'clock. It's like we never even left. That means we still have plenty of time to go to the zoo. Uh-uh, no way. I've had enough of giant snakes for one day. Uh, how about some ice cream instead? <laughs> <laughs> Train lots. I'm sure you'll do much better by then. Mm, I suppose. Uh... Hey, kid. Huh? You want some trainers? They're the last thing I want. No thanks. But they're very special. They'll make you faster than a road runner. Mm, no, no thanks. They will make sure you win any race. Uh, how? Look. Oh. But if you're not interested... Oh, hold on, hold on. I'll take them. Okay. Let's see what these can do for me. Oh! I can't stop! Help me! to show these shoes to Mansoor. You got them from an old man? And they work. These trainers are incredibly fast, but very difficult to control. I need your help. Well, let's see them. Go on, then. Huh? Oh. 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 Please help me, I can't stop, I can't stop! Uh, huh? Uh, 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 hold it tight! Uh, 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 
tell them? Do you know a way that you can control them? How? Oh. Practice. Luckily, I know just the way for you to get some safe practice in. Hey, Salam! How's it going? I think I'm finally beginning to control them. Look! <laughs> yeah, you did it, Salam. You learned to control your shoes. Why don't you go and give them a proper try? I will. <laughs> Help me! Help me! Help me! I've got you! Mama! <laughs> Thank you, man. You're welcome. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh. Huh. I'll get it. Here you go. Good kitten. <laughs> You'll catch that bus. Have a nice day. all day thanks to these shoes. But they're damaged now and I need you to fix them, Mansoor. So you can continue helping people? No, so I can beat Tarek in the next race. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Salem. I'll fix these up for you before the race. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. The next race will begin in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. and good as new. Oh, thanks a lot, Mansoor. <laughs> Are you ready to lose another race again, Salem? I don't think so, Tarek. I've got these. <laughs> oh, as do I. <laughs> huh? Where did you get those? Runners, take your position! Prepare to get beaten, you loser. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? Help me! Someone help me! <laughs> A very unique running style from Tarek, but he's going in the wrong direction, and so are Jamal and Jamil. <laughs> Mansoor is in the lead, but Salam on the outside is making a break. This is an incredible run from Salam. Will he manage to get 
catch, Mansoor! They're neck and neck. Neither is giving up. Salam has taken the lead. Salam has taken the lead. And he wins the race. Great job. I won. I actually won. <laughs> well done, Salam. I only beat you because I used my special trainers. No, they weren't nearly as fast as usual. <laughs> That's because they're just normal trainers now. Uh? I took them all out. Having them in the race would have been cheating. Uh, do you mean to say... Yes! You won all on your own! Hey, where are you boys going? To the library, for a project about ancient civilization. But we have to do it the old-fashioned way. You know, with books, not the internet. Well, good luck with that, boys. <laughs> Be careful of the librarian, all right? She's very <laughs> strict. See you later. <laughs> ah, hmm. Yes? Hello there. We're here to do some research for a school project. Do you know the library rules? No. You must always remain quiet. You have to respect the books, turn the pages gently and quietly. No phones, no running, no eating, no playing, and no talking whatsoever. <laughs> and no laughing either. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. Look here. This is the book we need. Is that? Huh? Switch that phone off. No phones allowed in the library. Go outside now. I just got kicked out of the library. I need to go get another book. Yeah, me too. What's that? That man left his notes. I think that we should look through them. Shh. He's designing a weapon uh. to destroy the Earth. We have to go tell Mansoor. Uh. Uh, uh, I need that book! 
There is no talking. Uh, please, boys, give me that book. Oh, what's going on? We've got to get out of here right now. What? Why? Because of this here. What is that? Stop right there! There's no running in the library. <laughs> What's going on? We'll explain when we're somewhere safe. But trust us, it's an emergency. Hey, no, stop. You can't take that book out of the library. Uh, please wait! Hold, hold! That book has not been checked out yet. Why is that man chasing us? Because he wants to destroy the Earth. What are you talking about? These are his plans for a doomsday device. Give them to me! Stop! Take me back! Get back here, you kids! Stop! Stop now! a machine to blow up the earth that's why we ran we have to go to the police wait a sec huh this isn't a plan for a device to destroy the world it's not then what is it it's a plan for a revolutionary device it's designed to provide solar power to the entire world oh oh so you mean he's not trying to destroy the world no obey he's actually trying to help it and we ran off with his plans oh what are we going to do now? Well, there's only one thing we can do. What? what? Go back to the library as quickly as we can. Huh? I got the book back. But do you have the professor's notes? He's a professor? Aha! Uh -huh. That makes sense. Uh, mm. I'm afraid there was a slight confusion. Oh, we're really sorry. 
Will you give them back to him, please? You can do it. Here he is right now. I have your notes here, Professor. Oh, thank you. We thought you wanted to destroy the Earth, and that was the master plan. Uh-huh. That is the only reason we took mm. them at all. No, it's the opposite. These plans could provide everyone with solar power forever. So thank you. This is my life's work, after all. I don't know what I would have done without them in my hands. I just wanted to say we're really sorry for everything. <laughs> don't worry, boy. It's fine. All's well that ends well, right? I had quite the adventure. I sure broke a sweat. Hello, my dear. Hello, mother. <gasps> He's my boy. My sweet little boy. <laughs> <laughs> we never would have guessed. It isn't obvious at all. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do here. I won't do it. I won't fall for it. I refuse to be the first person to go through that door. <sighs> How much time do we have left? We just need to make it through chemistry and then recess. Then it's finally class photo time. <sighs> I hate class photos. Oh, me too. But no matter what, the picture has to come out good this time. My mom's going to be so mad if it goes anything like last <gasps> year's. My mother will be furious, so no experiments. We need to stay clean the whole time. Okay, then. So tell me how we're gonna make it through that corridor. Okay, let's do this. Carefully, you guys. You never know when. Walid will show oh, up. Oh, oh, Mansoor. Long time we'll see. Catch this. Oh. Jello? It's Jello, isn't it? 
and it's it's jello. Don't you worry. As I was just explaining, I'm almost finished creating my latest invention. It's a new UV protection sunscreen that is also a source of vitamin D. Therefore, it's actually good for your skin. Look at me. It smells so nice. Can we have some, Teach? When the tests have all been finalized, you can all have some if you like. <sighs> I can't remember the last time I smelled something so nice. Well, can you? No. How about you, can you? Uh, can I what? What? Thank you, boys. That brings us to another important point in today's lesson about vitamin D. Recent studies have shown that vitamin D can be really good for your memory. After you. Oh, no, not this again. We can always stay here and help him out with the experiment, right? You can come back after the break to help me with the packaging. Now run along. Mm hmm Oh, what a mess. Yeah, this is what a school hallway should look like. Aw, why is everything dirtier when you're trying to stay clean? We can't sit down now because of it. We'll just have to wait instead. <sighs> We can't play football. And we can't eat lunch either. Ugh. I hate school photo day. It's photo time. Now there's lots of photos that need to be taken, so we'll start with individual photos, then move on to the class photos. Oh, finally. Please listen for your name and come straight to the photographer's room when you are called. We're starting with Ahmed Osama. Uh -huh. Ahmed Butter. Ahmed Tamer. Ahmed Joma. Ahmed Hassan. Ahmed Hussein. Ahmed Omir. Ahmed Ghanem. This will take a while. Let's get back to Mr. Ali. Huh? Oh man, he's gone! That's strange. You know it's not like Mr. Ali to abandon an experiment or leave it unattended, and he hasn't used the packaging. Something's not right. We have to investigate this, guys. What we should be doing is getting our photos taken. We have time. Come on. <laughs> there you are. We were looking all over for you, Mr. Ali. Hmm? Whoa. Uh, I think you have something on your... Oh, ah, uh, yes. It seems there are some unforeseen side effects to the cream. But not to worry. It's not permanent. Mm, I don't think. But if the cream did that to you, then it must have done the same to... <gasps> what? No. Really? You're kidding. My picture's in ten minutes. Just him. Jasim Abdallah. Uh, actually, uh, it's probably... <sighs> it's okay, relax. It's going to be all right. I've made some calculations, and all I need now is some of the cream from the lab to dilute with another chemical, and it will reverse the effects immediately. So you mean you don't have the cream? Nope. I left it in the lab. Do you want to tell him, or should I? The cream is gone. We need to find it. And fast. So where do we start? Khalil Ahmad. Hey, guys, have you seen Mr. Ali's cream? The jar is missing. What? Uh, what cream? You know the one from chemistry class. Uh, uh do you remember? No, no, not at all, really. The one with the nice smell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the, 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 the nice smelling really one. Yeah, nice. I really like it. Oh, oh, no, no. It's gone missing. Do you have it? Uh, us? Yes. You guys. No, no, we have nothing. Uh, no, nothing at all. Hmm. Oh, that cream. Uh, I remember now. It smells so nice. Yeah, lots of vitamin D. Uh, it's good for the memory, <laughs> right? Hmm, right. But really, this cream won't exactly help for that. 
Also sunlight, uh, and fish oil. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for the cream, guys. Can we go now? Rashid Ahmad. Rashid. Maybe you should move out of the shade for a bit, get a little bit of sun. Huh? It comes out to 1.98 grams. Mm, uh-huh. So then, hmm. no idea. Just can't figure it out. Hmm. Obey! <gasps> That's me! What am I going to do? Can you help? No, not straight away. Oh, I tried so hard to stay clean for this. Why does it always have to be me? I'm bad luck. Well, I don't think it looks that bad. Yeah, at least you're clean. Orange, but clean. Yeah, it's easy for you guys to say. You're not the ones going to be bright orange in the class photo. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We can do something. Obeyed? Sorry, Mansoor. I slipped. Obeyed, if this was really Treasures of the Desert, we would all be dead by now, you know. Treasures of the Desert? Part 2 launches today! And there are three free copies waiting for us somewhere in the city. We should get going. We're supposed to be at the mall at 9 a.m. sharp. Mm, just answer me this. Why did we climb out your window? Isn't there a better way to leave? It's because we are treasure hunters from ancient Baghdad. Yeah, and treasure hunters don't use the front door. Gotcha. We are treasure hunters. Woo! Uh, I'm okay. It's closed. You guys here for the treasure hunt? Hello. Do you have any clues or a map or something? Nope. Doesn't work like that. It's top secret, you see. Top secret? You mean even you don't know where the games are? You got it. Here. You need to use these codes in order to register your phones with the game. Game? Yeah. It's a publicity stunt. Once you register, they'll start sending you clues about it, and each clue will get you closer to the game. Awesome! Now we are treasure hunters, you guys! Hey, it worked! Follow Polaris. To the Great Eagle. Huh? What does that mean? Like I said, top secret, okay? Good luck. I'm pretty sure the Polaris they talk about is a star. Hmm, the North Star. My grandfather says sailors use it to navigate through the ocean. And the Great Eagle? Another star? I don't know. Okay, so let's just go north then and see wherever it takes us. Come on. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. See ya! Are you sure we are going the right way? We should be going north, but we're going downhill. Right, says the geography genius. Look, the sun is on our right. And it always rises in the east. Never mind. What can I say? I'm a treasure hunter. Not a sailor. 
And sometimes I like to bird watch. Look there. Nice. The great eagle. Why, of course. That's my mom's sculpture. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so what now? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think the app must link to a GPS that's in our phones to track our location. So it knows when we've cracked a clue. The eagle is wise. Ask it, and it will lead you to the right path that you must take. What's up, huh? nerds? Ugh, Tarek. Hmm. I'm surprised you got this far. I guess they're smarter than they look. They have a brain cell or two. They're not smart. They just followed us. Right, Jamal? <laughs> yep, you're right. We're not smart at all. You bet. And if you're smart, you'll give us the next clue of the game, Mansoor. We haven't cracked it yet. The clue says, ask it and it will lead you. We have to ask the sculpture. Go right ahead, Obeid. Oh, wise eagle. Tell us which way we should go, pretty please. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Obeid's talking to a statue. Oh. Obeid, you're a genius. You did it. What's all this gibberish? Doc, meth, oh. Ajira, olelum, dejklum, num. What language is that? It's not a language, it's a code. Fooled you, return to the mall. Of course, they just rearranged the letters. No wonder we had no clue what it was. <laughs> Much obliged, Salem. See you guys. <laughs> Bye, you losers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we have to catch them. Wait, there's no rush, look. I only gave them half the message. The rest of it says side entrance. Good thinking, Solemn. Okay, we've got to play it cool, or every kid will be following us. <laughs> hey, Mansoor. Thanks for all your help with those clues. Sorry to say we won't be sharing our prize with you losers. Yeah, you got us, Tarek. Fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, guys. Come on. <clears throat> the door's locked. Solemn, are you sure about that clue? The treasure you seek lies beneath your feet. Lies beneath your feet, lies beneath your feet. Feet! Huh? Could be the feet of a chair. Think uh. harder, Obeyed. Think, think! Or it could be our feet, guys. Mm -hmm. Ha-ha! <laughs> hey, key! Yeah! Uh. We're in! Oh man, I'm so excited that I can't even look! It's so close! Oh, it's a trap! Somebody help! I don't like this game anymore, guys! Hang on, here's a light switch. But there's nothing in here. I don't understand. Huh? It's just a bunch of junk here. Oh. Whoa! Awesome! Uh, where are the games? We haven't gotten a text in ages. I wonder where Mansoor is. Someone went to a lot of trouble with this game. Uh, are we sure that this is even a game? <laughs> Welcome to Zazura. Your treasures await. Uh, uh, this is getting kind of spooky. So what? Or where is Zazura? Mm -hmm. It's pitch dark down there. I can't see a thing. Here, let's use this. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Obeyed, can you just not touch anything anymore? Sorry. No way. A real treasure chest. 
Huh? It doesn't even work. Wait a sec. Let me have a look. Wow, it's a black light! Huh? Black light? What's that? A black light can light up certain colors that are invisible in normal light. Let's see what we can find with this. Ooh! Look! It's a secret message! Through here are great treasures. I can't see a handle or any hinges. It definitely says through here, so there must be a way through. And there's no way out, except from the door where we came from. Mm, it says through here, but... Mm, the word here is underlined, and none of the other words are. Uh... Hmm... Hmm... Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Mansoor, what did you do? I don't know! Obeyed! <laughs> this whole thing is fake! Just look! Hmm. Oh. It's made of rubber? They are! Look! And cut. Huh? Welcome to Zerzura, boys. We're glad you made it. Right. Zerzura. It's the name of the new game store. We won! We won! <laughs> we won! You are our first official customers. Congratulations. Hmm. Whoa! This is awesome! Look at all this stuff! Honestly, that was way more fun than shopping, you guys. Look over there! It's the Goon Squad! <laughs> Keep looking, guys! I'm sure the more you look, you'll find some treasure eventually! You just press it, and we will win the National Mathematics Cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how could we forget that one time you... <laughs> of course, there's that other time when... I can keep going if you want. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, but come on, really? Just look at where we are right now. We're in a solar and hydro-powered town where everything's connected. Everything's computerized, even the cars. Nothing can ever go wrong here. It's basically perfect. Let's just go have fun. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Boys, hop in. Let us go for a ride. Careful with the drink. Huh. Huh? 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 My name is Wassel. I am the first of a brand new generation of smart cars. And today, I am now going to take you on a short tour of Eco Town. Huh? Whoa! Wassel! Is somebody controlling you from a command center? All the smart cars in Ecotown are connected through a central server, but every car drives itself. We're 100% automated down to our processing. You're pretty impressive. I am powered by solar energy, plus capable of driving and talking. My main interface is the control panel that is located right in front of you. It senses smoke, temperature, human touch, and smells. <laughs> it sounds like the only thing you're missing is a social media page with selfies. <laughs> I already have one. Now smile. Oh. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> spill it. Watch, you're gonna spill it and something bad's gonna happen. Wassel? <laughs> oh, something's not right. Stop, Wassel! Why isn't he answering? We need to do something. <laughs> Take it one car at a time. I will steal this technology and then dump a self-destruct virus into the system. It will set them back years while I profit from their hard work. <laughs> Mansoor, what's going on? I'm trying to fix it. Fix it faster, Mansoor, or we'll slam straight into that wall. What? Huh? What? Overrule! Overrule! That was a close one. <laughs> hey, boys. Thanks, Mansoor. I'll take over the drive now. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is so much fun. It's been ages since they let me drive. <laughs> I wonder why. Obeid, what are you drinking? What is that? Is it really good? I'm just curious. Yeah, it's my favorite. Really? It is mine too. I love strawberries. Yeah, with everything. With ice cream, with juice, yogurt, with jelly, and slushies too. Smoothies. You can't get away from me. And I will show you. Ha! So can I? What? Have a little bit. Huh? Just a little bit. Uh, oh, please. Pretty please. Mansoor? Keep him busy. I think I found the brakes. 
Forget the brakes. We need to get out of here. This isn't an accident. There must be someone behind this. Nano, are all of the cars operating on the same network? Yes. But they've all been hacked, right? Right. Trace the signal so we can find out where it's coming from. No problem. That's great. Okay, now we know where we need to go. Figure out how to get there. Strawberry smoothie. What is that with it? Vanilla? Wow, 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 wow! Yeah! Wow! Hey guys, you're going to have to sample this smoothie. Ah. for another. Those strawberry smoothies are delicious food for my circuitry. I know where to get one, but we just need to do something first. It's not working. I better get out of here. No? No! 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 <laughs> Technology is for everyone. You can't steal it. Now let's go find some strawberry smoothies for Wassel. <laughs> and for everyone else. are the coolest thing ever. And look how fast they can fly. Those drones are amazing, uh, but Nano is going to be just as fast with his new upgrade. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. All right, let's check it out. First, let's find out how fast those hmm. drones fly. The website says it can reach up to 60 miles per hour. Okay, now let's see if Nano can beat that speed. Okay, Nano. Ready, set, huh? <gasps> what was that? <gasps> <gasps> it's a panther drone. <laughs> Actually, this one is your panther drone. Hello there, Mansoor. Well, I got you this limited edition model on my huh? trip. Thank you, father. Have lots of fun. 
This is Obeyed, this is Salem, and this is Nano. Greetings, Obey, Salem, and Nano. Now we can find out if Nano is faster than a panther drone. Okay, why not? You can both race to the park and back. I am looking forward to the race. I am as well. Ready? Get set. And go! How about we race around that tree and then head back? All right, good idea. You're very fast. So are you, especially for a piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> like you used up all your battery in that race, Nano. There is something very wrong with the Panther drone. It cheated. Come on, don't be a sore loser, Nano. It's faulty. Something's wrong. It pushed me into the tree. Oh. It must have just been an accident, Nano. Go and recharge for a while. I'll see you later. I really enjoyed our race, Nano. <laughs> I can't believe Nano accused the panther drone of cheating. Hmm, I know. It isn't like Nano at all. So what should we do now? <gasps> Can you show me around your wonderful city today? We'd better wait for Nano to recharge. But that will take time. And there's a lot for me to see around the city. Let's go for a stroll. Hmm, okay. <laughs> So this is the port, and that is the ocean. I like huh? it. What's it doing? <laughs> Why did you do that? What's going on? No idea. Let's follow him quickly. Lie down for a while. Stop interfering with my fun! Ah, a breaking news story about panther drones. Breaking uh. news, panther drones go on a rampage. It says the manufacturer recalls all panther drones immediately. So it is faulty. We need to shut it down. But how? Hmm, I got it. There's only one person who can help us now. Who? The one who knew the truth about the panther drone since the beginning, but we didn't believe him. Nano, can you hear me? I can. Hi, Mansoor. You were right, Nano. The panther drone is evil. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Not a problem, Mansoor. Are you fully charged yet? I am at 92%. That's enough. We need you to shut down the panther drone. I'll do that. On it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop right there. It's time to shut you down. I will never. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, kids. It's no problem. I'll go get it for you. Party pooper! It's time to 
to put a stop to all your bad deeds. You really are a killjoy, aren't you? Too bad you won't be able to stop me on my next bit of fun! <laughs> Chasing the Panther drone. He is heading straight for the space shuttle. You have to stop it. Shut him down by pressing the red button on his head. I will. <laughs> Takeoff sequence has been initiated. <laughs> I won't let your mischief ruin the launch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You're gonna have to be a lot quicker than that! <laughs> Emergency takeoff sequence has been canceled. You're wasting your time, loser! I do what I want and I always win! Huh? You're running out of power! I've still got enough to deal with you! Hours of solar power? <laughs> oh, yes, please! I'll get that solar powered microchip from your human, and then no one can stop me! Mansoor will never give it to you! <laughs> Don't be so sure about that, pal! Chips just in case. No! <laughs> ah! I also have the power of the sun now. Now it's time to finish you off. <laughs> What's happening? No! What just happened? It's the chip. Nano's upgraded microchip filled his system with solar power, but the other chip did the exact opposite and drained the panther drone of his power. Oh, that was so clever of you. Thank you so much, Nano. Thank you for saving the day. You are the greatest robot I could ask for. And I thank you, Mansoor, for the wonderful solar power upgrade. You're the greatest human ever. <laughs> <laughs> Special Agent Bader, we're approaching the location. It's the secret lair of Double X Shankul. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, but I've never needed luck before.
priest, I'll black Shankul. <laughs> right. You're under arrest. I finally got you and your spy satellite. You're going to jail. <laughs> no, I don't think so, Agent Vader. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing, Mansoor? I finished. Five new inventions? But do they really work? One way to find out, we test. Let's try this one Whoa. out first. Whoa. Stay Whoa. back! Wow! What was that? This is the Bouncer 1000. What does it do? I'm glad you asked. Try it out next, please. Of course. Hmm. Is it easy to steer? Yes, you just lean in the direction you want to go. Anyone can do it. <laughs> Anyone except our obeyed. Thanks a lot, boys. Who are you? A secret agent. Where are we? It's an evil genius's secret lair. And why are you tied up inside this box? A red-eyed robot locked me in. Wants us to untie you? Yeah, sure, why not? What should we do now? I'll get you three to safety. But first, I have to capture Double X Shung Kool and destroy his spy satellite. This is great! It looks like we're on a real mission and with a real spy, too! <laughs> <laughs> if I only had my gadgets with me, I could deal with this big hunk of metal in no time. But I suggest we just run. I've got some of my inventions that might help us out. Better be quick. What are those? They're rocket-powered shoes. Hmm. Huh. I don't know how they'll help us. Just watch them go! Uh -oh. 
I'm impressed. And now, let's get Double X Shen Cool and his spy satellite. <laughs> Step away from the satellite, Shankul. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> Metsor, it's time for another gadget. No! Well done. And now, let's destroy it. I know what to do. Obey. Catch this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well done, Obeid. I knew that I could rely on you dropping it. Thanks a lot. Ah, you've destroyed my spy satellite, but you will never be able to catch me. <laughs> Come on, let's get him. <laughs> oh, wow. What's this thing? Another of my inventions. You can sit in the seat and ride it. <laughs> Save your breath. There's no one here to help you. Hmm. Is that so? Uh -huh. There are more robots? Do you have any more gadgets? I've got this. That's great. Um, what does it do? Mm, nothing. It's just a rubber ducky. Oh. Uh, I don't know how we can get out of this one. We have a secret weapon. Uh -huh. And what's that? Not what. It's a who. And who would that be? You! Me? Obey, uh, go and get help uh, quickly! Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Not my robot army! <laughs> Only Obeyed could ever cause this much damage. The spy satellite and the robot army have been totally destroyed. And we caught Double X Shankul. <laughs> yeah! I was lucky to have you boys find me. And here I thought luck had nothing to do with my success as an agent. <laughs> you sure taught me a lesson. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Without your friends, and without your gadgets. And we couldn't have done it without Obeyed, the best horse driver ever. <laughs> Marcel! Marcel! Ladies and gentlemen, to my show. Behold the great levitation of the magic trumpet. No. With the aid of this ancient device and the incredible music that it conjures, I shall attempt to levitate. My dear assistant, do the honors. <gasps> Louder. <laughs> 
do it again. <gasps> louder. The louder you play, the higher, the higher you will rise. Blow harder. Harder. Huh? Uh, uh, the levitation trick simply isn't working. The show is only three days away, and we still don't have a main number. You have to find something for me. You have to find a great magic trick for me, or we'll both be finished. Okay, okay, don't panic. I will find a new trick for us. A great trick, one worthy of a magician. Yeah, yeah, I'll find a great trick. Let me just go. Uh, let me step out for some fresh air. I'm certain something amazing will come to me. Huh. What are these? Huh. They're plans for my new teleportation device for the science fair. What are huh. these? The teleportation device. What? Really? But how could those two hoops be a teleportation device? They're made out of a high-grade, lightweight metallic alloy. Here, let me show you. Just put them on the floor and be amazed. Okay, now step into the hoop. Oh, oh, oh. Amazing! So cool! What am I supposed to do now? He wants a great trick. Does he think these ideas just fall from the sky? So the higher I wind the dial up, the stronger the magnet becomes. Just watch. Yeah. That's so cool. Huh? Whoa, so neat. Let's see. Oh. Whoa! Oh, my head! It's impressive, right? Uh, yeah, it's almost as impressive as their invention. <laughs> no! This was meant to be the year I won the science fair. It's my turn to win. I refuse to let Mansoor get in my way again. Hmm. But we haven't tested it. Are you sure it's going to work? Of course it's going to work. Just look, the first hoop is there, right on that platform on stage. And then you will get into it and disappear. But really, you'll be teleported backstage. That's when I will show the audience that you disappeared. But wait, before the audience even realizes it, poof, you'll be back on stage. Teleportation, magic, voila. Now go hey, get him. Uh, 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 hello, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for the big finale. A magic trick never performed live on stage before. Disappearing man. For this trick, I'm going to need my great friend and wonderful assistant, Khalil. Ready? Ready! Here goes nothing! <gasps> Gasp! Now I hear you say, ladies and gentlemen, has he done it? Is he gone? Has he disappeared? Well, one look behind the curtain should be enough to prove to all of you that... Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Huh? Uh, uh, looks like he transformed into a plump little boy. Plump? Hey! I'm not plump, I'm big-boned! And now for the full disappearance. Uh, uh where's Obeid? Uh, 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 where am I? Who are you? Uh, what am I doing, huh? Hold on, you don't know who I am? You really don't know? Hey guys, I think I figured it out. I just have to press this button, and Obey should appear there. Oh, huh? where's the second hoop? <laughs> Get them! Come back! Wait, come back! Ah! Huh? Huh? Ah! Huh? Ah! Obey! Huh? Hey, where am I now? The question is, where have Tarek, Jamil, and Jamal gone? 
<laughs> hey! Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Three kids have appeared in the place of one. Uh, who are they, you might wonder? Mm, where did these children come from? Uh, all your questions will be answered when Trad the Great reappears. He'll be right back. Hmm. Huh? So that's how it works. It's an app. I suddenly appeared in a magic show with the great magician Khalil. Remember uh, him? Huh. Oh, yeah. He's great. But that's my show. I'm Trad the Great. I really need to get back to the show before it's done or I'll be ruined as a magician. You need to help me. Okay, here is what we'll do. Jamal, come on. Uh, uh, yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a total disappearance. Where did you disappear, Trad? Where are you? Slow down! Uh, 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 you're back! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's right! The disappearing man reappears! Stop! I'll show you that sword! Uh, and he has disappeared again! Uh, uh, um, Where could he be? <laughs> so that's what's been happening. I think I figured out what's going on. Do you mind if I borrow this phone? Hold on, I didn't know that's what you meant. Pick it up. Me? Why should I pick it up? You oh. do it. Uh, no. He told you to pick uh, it up. Yeah, but then me told you to pick it up. Uh, no way. You pick it up. I'm not going near it. <laughs> uh, I got it. I have the teleporter's phone in my hands. We need to give it to Tarek. Uh, hey, hmm. give that back. Oh, I have the hoop. Uh, <laughs> hey! hey. This is my insurance to winning the science competition this year. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. <laughs> <Go>! <laughs> Let's find out who's going to pop out of the hoop now. Uh -oh. Jamil! <laughs> Quickly, let's get back to the fair. It must be time for the judging panel. Come on, come on, Flash, do the Flash now! Khalil, if you can hear this, teleport me now! Our project is a live demonstration of teleportation. And to help us demonstrate, Trad! Uh, wait a minute. Whoa. Uh, uh. Hmm. Congratulations, that was very impressive. Are you ready now? When I get my hands on you... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, give it up for uh, uh, the amazing uh, Trad uh, the Great! Uh, the Great Magician is the world's first disappearing uh, uh, man. 